Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out the location of all of the treasure chests in the Cryptip Crypt. So let's just jump straight into it. We're going to go straight ahead, then take a right, then take a left. And here straight ahead we'll notice a treasure chest. If we try to go for it, there will be a hole in the ground that will open up and making us fall down to the lower level. Down here we're going to find our first chest straight behind us. So make sure to do a bit of a, a twirl here and pick that up. Like I said, there'll be no jump cuts in this video. We're doing a slightly different format just to make sure nobody gets lost. This is a pretty confusing place and I feel if we did it without voices, uh, it would be... For the worst. So once we pick that up, we want to come back here to the south and climb up the ladder, which will put us again on the upper floor. Now, once we're up here, we want to take a left as soon as we can. And this time, instead of going straight ahead, we'll notice a chest, but we don't want to go for that. Because if we try to go for that, you've guessed it, the floor will fall in and we'll fall back down. We want to take a right and eventually we'll get to this room with this green branch in it. So from here, we do want to take a left and we do want to fall down to the lower level again. Uh, straight below us will be another chest. If we go ahead and check the map, we'll notice we're actually on the same lower level before in the pit, but with the other side of that red door that we could not access from the other side. So from here, we want to go into the main room of the pit, and we'll notice there's another chest in this large room. So now we have two options. We could walk back, open up the red door, and climb up the same ladder we did just a few seconds ago to get to the upper floor and walk all around. Or we could do option B, which is attack the sparkling skeleton in the room. If we defeat him, it would allow us to ride the skeleton, as we've seen in previous parts of the game. With this, we can head over here to the west side of the pit, and we'll notice there's some paw marks on the wall. Whether you can see these paw marks, it means we can climb up as long as we're riding the skeleton. So now we're back on the top floor with a faster and more effective mode of transportation. And this time we want to continue down to the end of this hallway. Uh, notice this time we'll be at the second chest we could actually see. Uh, but we couldn't access because I said the floor would fall through if we tried to go for it. Um, now we want to continue back to the left. All the way until the main room again. And from here we want to take the second right. In this next room, we want to go to the far end and then take one more right and continue down to the end of the hallway. This is actually going to be the first chest we could see in the entire dungeon, uh, but we fell down that hole on purpose to pick up the ones in the lower pit. But now we're the other side of the, the hole, and this will allow us to pick up this chest. Now from here, we want to backtrack until the previous room was in, and this time we want to go straight ahead. Um, in this little room here, we'll actually be able to find another chest which is going to contain a mini medal. As you may have noticed, there's actually a lot of chests in this place. This actually may be the dungeon with one of the most amount of chests in the entire game. Just so you can quickly see here where we are on the map. We want to backtrack. There's only one more chest remaining in this place. We want to come back out here to the previous room and take another right as soon as possible. I'm showing you the map as many times as I can just to make sure everyone knows exactly where we are at all times. And here we will be able to find the final chest just before getting to the end of this dungeon. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful. I tried to make it as least confusing as possible, though I know this place is, can be a little bit of a mess. Um, but I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we will see you next time.